Hey, what's up, everybody? Twitch from Street Gear, Hempstead, New York. All right, today we are going to review. These shoes have been long in the waiting. These are the Lightning Fours. Um, this shoe, it's going to come out August 28th. Um, it was out 2006. It was actually 15 years ago. Almost today, I think it was like August 23rd. Uh, so we've been waiting 15 years for this this guy. All right, so this out. Jordan Lightning Fours. Uh, it's got nice paper here, nice box. I love the yellow. I love when they match these the color with, of the box of the shoe. What's it got here in the box here? I got to put the glasses on. Okay, what do we got? True yellow, dark blue gray. Okay, let's use. I use this one here. Just a brief history of the four. It came out in '89. It's a Tinker Hatfield shoe. Um, they put the mesh in here to take some weight off because it, it had the midsole of like a Jordan um, 3, that polyurethane, which is a little heavy. So that's why they, they put that mesh in there just trying to take some weight off. And they put the straps on because Michael wanted a little more ankle support. So, um, yeah, this is just a little brief history of the shoe. But anyway, so the history of this shoe, like I said, this is the, these are the Lightning 4s. Um, 15 years, almost to the date, uh, this thing came out. Um, it was an online only release, which is, I mean, 15 years ago. Online shopping been on that long, but yeah, so 15 years ago, this only came out on online. It was very exclusive. I mean, I've heard 500 pair, but there wasn't that many pairs of these. Um, and what's curious, it, it was, a, uh, I think it was $250, but you got a, a T-shirt with it. So it's kind of, which I mean, that now it is a it is a 220 box, which is you know, if you had a T-shirt to it, it's like 250. So really, it's almost the same price as it was um, 15 years ago. Which is kind of weird, but um, yeah. And like I said, and they had the um, uh, the thunder. That that the thunder, I believe, came with. The, oh, was my phone vibrating? Um, the thunder came with the jacket. I think it was like a five dollar retailer. But um, yeah, so like I said, so it's almost the same price, uh, you know, as the original original one. Like I said, back in two thousand six. But yeah, these are, these are very nice. Like I said, they, we, we've been waiting for these a long time. You know, I know we've kept on asking people at Jordan Brand, what, you know, the Lightning Force coming out and. It's gotten uh, put, pushed back a lot, um, but yeah, so they're finally out and they're in my hand. Uh, like I said, these are definitely, definitely uh, people have been waiting for these shoes. Um, they look hot. I mean, they listen. The look, the look of them is great, but it's just also because they're they're very rare. There wasn't that many of them, and it, and it's got a look. So um, people have been hunting for these for a long time. But um, yeah, she looks nice. I mean, they're, they're pretty close. Um, I don't. Um, I, we didn't. Of course, we didn't get the. Um, when they came out, because it was an online release only, and I don't think I've even seen an original pair, uh, to tell you the truth. But the only thing I can think um, I, I've seen on the internet right now so far are these stars, a little bit different. The, the, uh, the original one didn't have these stars pronounced um, on the top of that toe box there. Um, but that's, to me, that's part of the long. There may be a little shade different here in the gray, but very, very little. They're like 99.9% .9 to original form. Um, yeah, like I said, as far as pairs that are out there, and people are guessing how many pairs are going to be, I don't think it really is going to make a difference because these shoes aren't going to come back out again for a while, if they ever do. So this is this is going to even whatever gets you know soaked up in the market, you know, when they release, they're going to get soaked up, and I think the price is going to stay heavy with these, just because of what shoe they are. Like I said, it's definitely I think one of the grills just as far as the exclusivity of it. It's still got a cool look to it. It's not like you know, I mean, the colors are cool, um, but there's other colorways that are probably more powerful but these are just these are just cool because of the the rarity of it and the color the color is cool yeah let's look in here you got the upside down air jordan there the side you got the black jump man there you got the black jump man there too um there's your bottoms right there the little yellow there right there black yeah these are these are really nice the material is you know, they're, they're nice like i said i don't know it seems to be almost the same thing but it's it's a really, really nice, yeah, I don't, yeah, it's a suede nubuck, not really suede, it's more of just a really soft nubuck, like a butter soft nubuck. Uh, yeah, these are, these are classics, like I said, this is going to be something that's, it's a collectible, I think, even if it, whatever amount of pairs come out right now, I don't think it's going to make a difference. You know, it's, it's, and plus we got a different box too, they, that box had the old, um, actually it was the old flip top box. Yeah, Nike, you know, made it where that, you know, it wasn't a two piece system, it was just a, it was kind of like a hinge. Um, yeah, so this is but that makes this shoe a little, I guess, the difference. Which I kind of, I definitely like this box better than the original box. And I think it also had a, um, a um, retro card in it, which I do like. I wish they would bring back retro cards. Um, you know, maybe not in all of them, but in some of them. 
but um, yeah, so that's it's a pretty cool shoe, and like I said, this is definitely going to be a you know maybe one of the top ones uh, this year for sure. Uh, let me just show you um, what I've got here with it. There was a couple I got a T-shirt with it, which might match is nice, but I really like this gray hood that goes with it that came in. Um, so I like that. The T-shirt's thirty-five, and the hood's a little pricey, one twenty, but it's heavy. It's a heavy. T it's a heavy hood, but I think I like the hood better than I do the T. Sometimes that gold and that yellow gets a little funny. Sometimes it's hard to match, especially with hats and even the shirt that comes with it. It's a, I mean, it matches, but you can see it's just a, just a touch off, just because the material is different, you know, from the shirt to the to the to the shoe, and it gives it a little different depth in that in that yellow or gold or whatever you want to call it. But I definitely would hit over here like that. That looks cool. So um, yeah, that's it. Uh, what else? It's a big shoe. Um, the next shoe I'll be doing is the. Uh, I guess the Bordeaux Sixes will probably be the next year I'll review. But um, yeah, this is probably the biggest one, I think. This, uh, the Lightning Four. You know, like I said, I didn't think I was ever going to see them, so they're cool. Um, all right, yeah, so the next one would be the, uh, the Bordeaux Sixes. Take your last look. The Lightning Fours, Streak Gear out.